Hi you guys, I'm Tokyo and this is Okono. He's gonna show us how to prepare the Irish moss. The Irish moss, also known as seaweed. It's in a state of disarray. It's, um, it's not clean. It's from the sea, it comes with the salt and everything on it. So what you have to do is clean it. You, you wash it, you know, you add your water and you wash it just like you would wash anything else. You can do it like almost like you're washing clothes. Um, you wash it um, about three times until the water becomes clear. show you guys how to make the Irish moss on the stove this is one cup and this is five cups of water so you can um, put the Irish moss in the pot with the water and bring it to a boil or you can wait till it boils and then put it in but I just put it in at the same time as I put the water. So when it comes to a boil, you're going to turn it down and stir it. So I want to give you guys a little more information about the Irish moss. I've done videos and I put a pose writing about the benefits of Irish moss, but I just want to go a little bit more in depth. So the human body is made up of 102 minerals. Irish moss has 92 minerals. It has a uh, folate, iron, magnesium, potassium, vitamin K, fiber, and a bunch more. Too many for me to name. It's been used in treatment for thyroid disorders. You can also use it externally. You can use it for eczema rashes even sunburn you can also use it as a natural botox you can put it on your face like a face mask and you let it sit and it's gonna tighten the skin and you do this you know as a regimen weekly it's gonna help slow down the aging process no wrinkles you know gonna help you look younger So it's finished boiling. I'm gonna use a strainer and this bowl to store it in. And you, you're gonna use a strainer so you don't take the Irish moss. You're just gonna use the liquid from it because that's what you store and it's gonna be like a gel-like substance once it cools down and it's refrigerated. I don't know if you guys can see this. It looks really slimy. You see? Okay, and what's left over in this bowl is what you're going to refrigerate. Now, some people take the Irish moss and they put it into a blender and blend it with this water. I personally don't because I feel like I boiled out all of the nutrients and I like to have my Irish moss in the form of a drink with lime and honey so I don't really need it any thicker than what it already is so I mean whatever you want to do if you want to put it in a blender boil it with water um, I mean it's up to you you can also put it in a smoothie if you want you just when you're making your smoothie, take a few uh, tablespoons, drop it in there. You can put it in your oatmeal. You can put it in your hot tea. Whatever you want to do, you get creative with it. You're just really trying to mix it in with something if you don't want to drink it plain the way I do. Consuming it is really good for you. You don't need to take any vitamins. This is very natural. It's going to help alkalize the body. So 
it's a superfood. I really recommend it to you and you're going to feel a change in your body within yourself. You're going to have more energy. It's going to boost your energy and you're going to be healthier. So, hey guys, try it out. So this is what it looks like after you boil it. Just giving you guys an up close view. It's still very hot. You can see it's, it's a very thick substance full of nutrients. What you're going to do now is let it cool down for a while until it reaches room temperature. And then you'll put a top on and then you'll refrigerate it and that's it. So I let this sit for like an hour and look at it. It may have been a little bit more than an hour, but it's stiff like jello. It reminds me of jello. So what you can do is put it in your smoothie like this, or you can put it in your tea. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video and everything was easy for you to understand. Look out for more videos in the future.